to the yoga show here at ACTV and thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to get right into it working our core and our back. So it is hard cores, strong backs. All right, we have pretty much a beginner to intermediate um, level today and we don't need any props even though I have a couple back here just in case I need them but you don't need anything today but your mat. Going to do mostly on the mat and then a little bit standing. Okay, so first, I'm going to warm up that upper body a little bit. Just roll the shoulders a little bit. Enjoy. Sit up nice and tall. Ears over the shoulders. Shoulders over the hips. And you can sit back on your feet here if you'd like to. If you prefer, you can sit up on your knees. And just keep rolling those shoulders a little bit. Bring your hands up to the shoulder blades right here. Your fingers facing in. Make some nice circles with your elbows. And that always feels good. Really opening up and pulling liquid into the shoulders. <sighs> Stomach is in, the back is tall, the sternum shines up. And reverse directions. So I'll cue you with my voice in case you want to get a little deeper into a posture and you don't have to keep looking at the screen. So I'll let you know when we're going to finish up. And you can come out of it and prepare, rest or prepare for the next move. Let's take one arm all the way up, reaching away, nice and tall in the arm, nice and tall in the shoulder, and just very gently raising it up, pulling in space here in the joint. Press down those toes a little bit behind us so we can activate the legs. Switch sides, stomach in nice and tight, tall spine, reaching straight up. Breathe in, remembering our breath. Switch sides. It's always very important, especially during a stretch, when we have a stretching, a finishing move or a stretching sequence. And when we're deep into a posture, exhaling on the exertive part of the posture, inhaling on the opening part of the posture, and relax here. Let's sit cross-legged or just legs bent in front of you. If you'd like, bring the hands to the shoulders or the ears and just take a very gentle lateral bend here. Very, very gentle as we start out. We're only gonna do about five or six of these and then we'll take a little twist to add our back into this move and really warm up that torso. So sitting straight up again, draw one arm forward as if you're gonna punch and punch and start involving the waist here. Again, if you prefer to be on your knees or even standing up, this is just fine. And punch. Shoulders, upper back is getting a little tight here as we pull back on this elbow. As we reach forward, again, pulling more space into the shoulders and warming up that chest a little bit. Twist and twist two more. Twist, twist one more set. And then hands back to the shoulders or the ears, taking an inhale at center. Nice and tall. Exhale, little bend, bend, and bend. And if you'd like to, you can open the legs out to the side as long as we're not curling like this. We're taking that elbow right outside the hip area. So notice that my ears are over my shoulders, my shoulders hopefully over my hips, and just warming up a tad more. And hands back in front of the chest again as we punch punch. A little bit of twist in the waist. Punch. Punch. Elbows are out to the side here. So you notice that we're involving the whole torso as we punch. We involve that back too. Whereas sometimes you see people do this. I'm punching really hard in class. <laughs> it's a whole move. When you're punching, you take the power of the back into that punch. So move and move and move. Got it. Reach. Two more sets, reach. Feeling that nice warm up of that core area and relax the arms here. Relax, and let's come onto hands and knees. Nice and strong with a flat back. Just do a couple here because we're going to stand up in just a moment. Take that inhale for a puppy dog stretch. Press down the feet a little bit and exhale. Nice big curl as we tuck the pelvis and tuck that chin into the sternum. Inhale. Exhale, usually called cat pose and cow pose, but I prefer playful puppy. 
And a couple of more here. Nice deep breathing, really working through the pelvis here, of course. One more. And then get ready to tuck the toes behind. Press those toes down into the mat. You can sit back here as far as you'd like to. Press those toes a little bit and get the feet warmed up a little bit. I'm not going to do tons and tons of legs today. I still want to warm up the feet. Bring the arms all the way forward and let's come into a child's pose. Nice and long. Inhale. Reaching forward and exhale. Let the chest fall. Let the hips and the tailbone come backward. And let's take two or three breaths here. We're going to continue with our warm-up. And press back into downward facing dog. Nice and comfortable. Legs as straight as you can get them. Pressing the mat slightly forward, dragging it forward with our hands, dragging it away from us as the hips and the tailbone come up and backward. Let's take that nice pedal through if you'd like to. Take your time here. We're going to meet and come forward into forward fold. So just walk your feet forward. Take your time again. Nice and slow. Relax. Dropping the chest. Dropping the head. And dropping the arms very comfortably for a moment. Then we're going to slowly roll up. Soften the knees. Pressing the feet deep into the mat and roll up very slow. Strong legs. Nice and tall into mountain pose. Now take a nice stance here. We want our knees just slightly bent so that we're not wiggling the body at all when we take some airplane movements here, nice and strong in the legs, and just take some circles around here. So really, as we come back with the circles, some people, you know, they'll do this. We want you to come back and in front of the shoulders. Back of the shoulders and in front of the shoulders. So make the circles nice and round. You don't have to go super slow here. You can really work this through. You're going to feel some fatigue in the shoulders. That's okay. That's what we want. And reverse directions. We did about 10 sets. Let's do about 10 in this direction. Eight, nine, and 10. And relax those arms here. Place the hands on the thighs. And take a couple more cat and puppy postures here as we inhale and arch that spine. Tailbone pops up, head pops up. And then exhale. Tucking everything under. Let's take three more. Inhaling up. Exhale, big tuck. Two more. Inhale. Use the hands on the legs here. Exhale. And inhale. One more. Exhale. Really feel that low back firing up here. Exhale. And we'll relax here, roll it all the way up, and we're going to come into another squat and bring this a little bit more into the waist and the upper back as we start today. So we come into a nice flat back here, not the puppy dog, but a nice flat back, bracing that left arm inside the leg, or you can hold the leg if you want to, take an inhale, and exhale as we turn to the right. Right arm is coming upward, and as if we're going to be stacking the right shoulder above the left, being careful that the legs, the knees, and the hips face forward and they're not moving. Inhale, slowly unwind. Be careful not to overdo here. Exhale, side two, right hand on right leg or inside if you'd like. Holding here, nice strong long back, long neck. Inhale on your return and exhale. Take the other side. Right arm up, left arm braces. Unwind on that inhale, and left. One more set here. Exhale, strong spine, very flat spine here. One more set. Right arm comes up, exhale, strong abdominals here. And inhale, and last one. Exhale, left arm up. And release those arms, take a little turn and bring the knees down. That looks easier than it is. It looks pretty easy, huh? It's really not. <laughs> Let's take a little bit deeper into the back, opening and closing, or flexing and contracting. Take the left leg straight out, and we're going to keep that right knee pretty much under the right hip. 
Now, as we come into this move, you're welcome to move a little forward and backward according to how comfortable your shoulders and how flexible your shoulders are. Pressing down this back foot behind the hip, open up to that left side with this leg nice and straight. Pausing there, and then take this hand through the keyhole on your exhale, stomach tight. Reaching through as that elbow lowers down, and if your head comes down, that's just fine. And inhale, push up again, open this up, and exhale, pull through the keyhole. Feel the work in the upper back, so your left rear shoulder and upper back really stretching right now. Open up, and here comes that contraction in the upper left back, rear deltoid. One more set. I think this is three. Stomach tight. Inhale, bringing it up again. This one is a little bit longer of a hold. Three breaths this time. Strong, raise that hand up to the sky. Stomach nice and tight as you slowly exhale. Curl and bring this hand through the keyhole. Move this right hand anywhere that works for you. And lower down, reaching through. Notice the hips can come back a little if you'd like. Holding for three to four breaths. One more breath. Slowly unwind and relax the hips back and the knees down. Just take a little break there for a moment and we'll go to the other side. So I'll turn my body a little bit for the other side. Let's take the right leg out now, straight out to the side, even with the hip and the knee on the left side. Nice straight leg and the feet are down. Hands in tabletop position, left hand stays down, and inhale to open up here to the right, right arm up. Nice twist of the chest to the right side, Stacking the shoulders, strong abdominals, exhales, slide through, keep the hand in contact with the ground. Then lower that left elbow if you want to. You can move that left arm. Inhale back up, hand underneath the shoulder. Inhale, open it up again. Strong, feeling this in the right upper back, and now stretching that whole area, thoracic spine, rear deltoid. Rhomboids, those are your scapular muscles. And inhale, bringing it up. Pressing away from the back. Oh, by the way, making sure we're not sagging into the shoulder. Like we're always pushing the shoulder away from us. And exhale, bring it through. One more. Let your hips settle back a little if it's more comfortable. This palm, right palm is facing up. Open it up last time. Inhale, slightly longer. Two more breaths, reaching for the sky. Bending that arm, palm up. Exhale, slide through, tight abdominals. Two more breaths. This should feel very good. Very clean, very open. Hands down, release into your nice tabletop position and rest the back for just a moment. Relax the shoulders, relax the wrists a little bit. From here on our knees, we're going to come right into elbow plank or forearm plank. Relaxing those shoulders, abs nice and tight, and the legs are going to be straight. When we start out, then we're going to go into a bit of a side plank um, core and back movement, which I believe we've done before. We're going to do the modified version today. Let's come forward, bring those elbows down under the shoulders, nice and strong, and straighten the legs, abdominals in for elbow plank. And again, we want to make sure we're not dropping into the shoulders and our hips aren't sagging down like this. So our hips are about even with our upper back. Abs in nice and tight, pulling the heels back, the legs are engaged, and hold for three to four breaths here. We're pushing the mat away from us and a little bit forward as we feel all of the muscles in our upper arms engaging here and the shoulders. One more breath. 
Squeeze the belly. Squeeze the legs. Squeeze the glutes. And relax the knees for just a moment. Back in child's pose. As we go into the next elbow plank, we're going to take a little bit of rotation to the side. That will be the foundation of our next posture. Coming back into elbow plank, now we're going to swivel a little bit. So first we're going to work the right arm so that I can face you. Right here, I'm going to pivot this right arm a little bit as we open to the left. The right leg ends up on top. We're going to pull the right leg in toward, excuse me, left leg in toward the right knee. Now we're on our side. This is not easy. We need this forearm and elbow pressing down into the ground or see what happens with the shoulder. So press down with that right outer foot and the right forearm. This left hand to the hip and we're left up with the hips. Strong arms and lower the hips. Abs tight. Lift the hips up and lower. We must have tight abs here. One long line. We probably cannot see our right foot. That would be correct. If we look down, probably can't see the right heel. And lift. And down. And lift. That was four. Two more. Down. And lift. And down. Strong arms. Lift. And down. Release down. Bend the knees. Nice job. Come back to center. And just let your hips release for a moment. We're going to come into elbow plank and swivel the other way, but I'm going to turn around for you. So we're going to be using our left arm and elbow this time. Forward into elbow plank. Nice breath bend. Open this up. Breathe. Now engage the legs and notice the bottoms of the feet are perpendicular with the ground. So the heels are up, right over the toes. Pivot left elbow a little bit. Push away and open the hips and chest to the right, pulling the right foot in toward the leg, left leg. Press down on this forearm, pull the shoulders down, abs tight, and we inhale, lift up, shh, exhale down. Press on the feet here, lift, and down. Pressing on the foot, pressing on the forearm, lift. This is actually pretty fun, I know it's hard. And lift. And down. Now, if you're advanced enough, you can stack your feet and keep both legs straight. This is four. Two more. Lift. And down. Tight abdominals. One more. Press it. And down. And release here. Roll onto your knees. Take a little break in child's pose. Well done. That's pretty difficult. So you notice that was probably, probably you're feeling a tremendous amount of work and engagement in that whole corset area. Ooh, that includes the back. Come forward again into plank pose. I'm going to lower all the way down with Chaturanga. I'm going to stay down, work a little more on the upper back. Nice and strong. You can be on your elbows if you prefer. Bring it down, all the way down. Now keep your toes tucked here. Your legs are going to be pretty much engaged and your toes are going to be tucked. Feet pretty much in alignment with the hips and the hands are going to come back and grab the ears. The elbows are going to be open, not here, but open. Stomach in tight, legs engaged. Inhale. And lift the elbows, lifting the chest, toes pressed down. And then back down, don't lay down. And lift, stomach tight, glutes are tight. And down. How are the toes doing? Keep the toes pressing down. And lift, strong back. This is great for the upper and the middle back. And lift, looking straight ahead. Whatever way you're facing, that's where you want to be looking. Inhale, lift, two more. Ooh, boy. Lift, little pause, elbows up. One more, guys, one more. And lift, and relax. Ooh, I was a little shaky on that one. Relax for just a moment on your belly. Relax your hips. Rolling, pulling the hips and the low back, massage down. Two more breaths.
okay, we're going to come into a locust pose, there's, um, or semi-Superman. There's many ways to do this pose, so, uh, as well as our arm placement. But one thing we want to remember is to keep our legs straight and the legs hopefully as close together as you can get them, which is going to create deeper work in the low back. If the legs are way out here, we're not really working our low back that much. So we want to keep the legs close together. We start with the hands backward. And first, when we do this, our palms are going to face up and our hands are going to stay on the ground. We're going to gently lift the chest up and lift the feet up and keep the fingernails down and push down on the hands just a little bit and slowly come down. No resting, here we go again. Stomach tight, feel the glutes are tight, feel the hamstrings are tight here. Hold back of the legs, the toes, and then bring it down. And lift again, a little bit of pressure on the hands, reaching those hands down and down. And take a little break here and do a couple of different um, locust Superman combinations <laughs> for a strong back. These are fabulous for your back, uh, fabulous for your spinal alignment, um, absolutely wonderful for blood flow in the core area, which we already have a lot of hot blood flow right now. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this again, and this time we're going to turn our palms the other way, reaching our hands back toward the toes, and this time we're going to lift the hands up. Legs are straight, engage that whole body, pull the abs in, the glutes are squeezed, inhale and reach back for the feet with your hands lifting the feet up. We're looking right at the front of the mat, which is straight ahead, and slowly release a little bit, we're not resting. Again, inhale, squeeze it tight, squeeze it tight, two breaths here, reach those hands back, reach and slowly release, one more, lift up, breathe in, breathe in, squeeze the legs, legs face down, squeeze the buttocks, straight legs, pull those toes away from the body, reach your feet with your hands, and relax and release here, take your head to one side, oh that was tough, so as we use the legs in that movement and raised the feet off the ground as we did our um, locust pose, uh, we bring a lot of low back into the posture. A lot of low back strength, a lot of strengthening in that move. And let's flip around. Flip that pancake. Going to work a little more on the core here. As we lay back, we're going to do not a full crunch, but a slight crunch. We're going to lift our shoulders off the ground. Let me move my, one moment, move this mic transmitter here. Ah, oh, there we go. The hand's going to come behind the head, or I prefer behind the ears. So if, we, sometimes people take their hands behind the head and they do this with the neck. So we want to keep our neck in alignment with the body. Legs are nice and straight. Body is strong. Pull the abs in nice and tight. Take a little raise up. Raise one leg up here. Raise the other leg up here. Hold for a moment. And bring that chest comfortably up toward the toes. We're going to hold this position. The chest and back don't move. The arms don't move. Take a nice breath in. And lower that top leg as much as we can without touching the ground. And exhale. Bring it back up. Now this is very slow. Inhale, bringing it down, exhale, and lift. Notice my shoulders are open, my elbows are out, I'm looking straight up at my feet. And maybe you can't get your feet this high, maybe they're here, that's quite all right. Just make sure that your back doesn't, low back doesn't pull away and sway from the ground. Exhale, lift to center. Inhale, lower leg. Exhale, slow to center. Inhale, switch, lower leg. Exhale, lifts, tight abdominals here. Really pressing the low back into the mat. Inhale, lower down, three more sets. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, two more. Exhale, we want to drop down and lay down here. Don't do that, stay up. One more set, you guys. Inhale, down. 
Exhale, one more leg, one more leg. And up, and relax the knees, relax the back for a moment. Oh, maybe a little massage. I felt that burning, this whole top to bottom, top to bottom. That's a really wonderful move. That's kind of a mixture of Pilates and yoga. I'm going to lift the legs up again, this time to a diagonal. Bending one leg. Coming slightly up with the chest again. Bringing both hands to the outside of one thigh. So we're reaching. The chest is lifting a little right here. Keeping the bent leg in place, we're going to inhale and lower the long leg. Ooh. Exhale, bring it up. Woo. Inhale, tight abdominals. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, keep this leg if you can, a bent leg at about 90 degrees. Inhale, tight abs, lower down. Remember, both cheeks, both hips are on the ground. We're trying not to roll to the side with our lower body. We're just reaching toward that outer left leg, outer left hip, reach, reach, try to reach something. Hold right there, one more. I think this is six. Stomach tight. And lift, bend both knees. 90 degrees, take a breath in. Okay, that's enough, take a breath out. Reach to outside, to the right side. Both hands hold the ball, and reach. The chest comes up, elongate. Lowering that leg. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, down. Strong, exhale up. Try to keep a flat middle back and a flat low back. Reaching, reaching, keep reaching with the arms. Tighten the stomach. If we don't tighten the stomach here, we don't feel it. Pull that navel back down to the mat. Two more after this. Inhale, slow. Legs engage. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Oh, I just got the sign. We're almost done. Bend both knees. Ooh. Relax. Take a little hug. Elongate that first leg again, which is probably our left. Bend that right knee. And use your left hand very gently. Glide that right knee, right knee, across the center just a little bit, keeping this right shoulder down on the ground. And just take a couple breaths here. You do these moves three times a week, you're going to have a very strong body and wonderful posture the rest of your life. Switching legs here. Elongate that right leg and cross that left leg over. Gently using the other hand, not pushing hard, not pushing. Look in the opposite direction to the left. And finding that wonderful stretch in the low back, middle back, upper back. Tight stomach, tight abs. Unwind back to the top. Take a big breath. Ah, pat yourself on the back. Ah, you did wonderful today. Woo, how did I do? <laughs> that was great. Strong backs, hardcore, hardcore. Strong backs, relax those shoulders. Pull that crown up. Press your fingers into the ground. Lifting that sternum, shining high to the sky. Enjoy life. Stay strong, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.